You guys also today I'm going to show how to create those paper effects in Premiere Pro and After Effects. So without wasting any time, let's just jump into it. We are back in Premiere Pro after a long time. And to do this paper effect, I'm going to use my bro Brian Ultimate Texture Bundle V3. If you want to download the pack, the link will be in the description. Use code awesome to get $5 off. And big thanks to Brian for sending over the pack to try it out. So I'm going to start a new comb by just dragging my clip onto this icon right here. And I will drag my another clip onto my timeline too. So we have our clips ready. So now what you have to do is go into window and make sure the essential graphics is checked on. So you will get this panel right here. If I close this and open it again like that it will pop up right there i already installed all of these assets onto my essential graphics so to install it go into here and you will see paper transition and paper effects what you want to do is select all of those and drag and drop it onto your essential graphics so i already have it so i i won't do it right now for for this example i'm gonna use this rectangle grow so drag and drop it onto your timeline just like that then you will see a cool paper transition now just select your graphics and go to edit and you can see right here it says first clip put your footage right here and second clip put your footage right here so here's my first clip so i'm gonna drag it right here obviously and you can see my clip is already on there if a clip is scaled up to you can just go here and set select like no scale and it will fix the problem and in second clip put here i'm gonna put my second clip which is right this drag and drop it onto there and i will also do no scale on this then you will have the transition but the timing is mismatched as you can see so to fix that select your graphics again so i'm gonna move my graphic two layers above and i'm gonna delete those music track but because we don't need it now select my graphics and move it further so it aligns with the end of our first clip and i'm gonna select my second clip and move it so it aligns to my graphics beginning but still our first clip timing will mismatch so i'm gonna go where the transition start which is right here and cut my cut my first clip and just hit ctrl c to copy it in my edit panel where it says first clip you can just double click and delete the clip from here then just paste the clip that we copied then you will easily get this seamless transition and if you want to download this pack the link will be in the description use code awesome to get five percent off if you use my link i will get the little cut back which helps my channel to make more videos like this so now so now i'm gonna move to after effects and show you other effect you can do with this pack and in after effect as you can see i was messing around with some comps so i will create a new comp real quick there we go and we have a fresh composition like right here now what you want to do is in the pack in the pack there's some printer paper overlays one is crumble one is scratch so i'm gonna use scratch for now and i'm gonna use high risk 12 frame scratch drag it in so i will drag in a high risk scratch 12 fps in here and i will lower down the scale because my composition is 1080p now as you can see you will get this animated overlay so to make it transparent we're gonna set the blending mode to screen now we can see our clip through then in a clip add like a posterized time and set this to 12 fps so it matches the fps of our overlay and it looks a bit realistic too then from the collage pack i'm gonna drag in like a circle i'm i'll drag in this circle onto my timeline and lower down the scale of it then put it below my texture layer then i'll duplicate my actual clip then selecting this pickwick tool on my track mat i'm gonna select my circle layer now if i make any adjustment as you can see the edges are cut off according to the circle so i'm gonna scale it a little bit so we have a bit of mirror offset kind of look then enable our circle layer too and set the blending mode to screen obviously i guess i'm gonna scale it a bit more now you can just pre-compose all of these then you can add like a sapphire stick lower down the value to like 0.1 so we also have the movement going on then obviously add a posterized time to set to 12 you can lower down the scale if you want then from the collage pack again i'm gonna drag in this rectangle and like that scale it down and put it on the corners then from my music video, I'm gonna take like this clip, drag it and drop it onto my timeline. Then as you can see, we have a clip playing like this. I will drag in both of those clips 
below my texture layer then i will do the same thing with this then i did the same thing and just i will pre-comp with this too and you can go into the pre-comp and add like a displacer pro this is a free plugin so you can download it off and in the edge behavior you can set it to like mirror repeat then i will animate translate y go a bit further and you can increase the amount now you can select those keyframe easy ease then coming back to a main comp you can see we have a clip playing here too then i will add like a poster time into this and set it to 12 and i'm gonna copy the stick from here into this layer put it above my poster as time then go into xsig and lower it down to zero then you can then you can just trim the clip a bit and add like a uh, exposure bring up the exposure at the beginning go a bit further and lower it down to zero so it pops in like that i'll copy this exposure into my main uh, circle layer then from the back you can see there's a lot of things in here like stars squares you can mess with all of this i will add more in and show you my final result so after adding a bit more element we have our result looking like this so if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this and the link will be in the description for this pack see you on the next video bye